A big hello to all the students. Today let's begin with another topic in organic chemistry that is hydrocarbons. And in this topic we are going to discuss certain general methods of preparation, physical properties and chemical properties. And also some important applications of alkenes, alkenes and alkynes. Hydrocarbons are those substances which are made up of carbon and hydrogen as the name itself suggests. And on the basis of the type of bonds found in them, hydrocarbons can be classified into two groups. The first group is the saturated hydrocarbons in which single bonds are found and the second group is unsaturated hydrocarbons in which multiple bonds exist between two carbon atoms. They may be double bond or triple bond. So let's begin with alkanes. Alkanes are also known as paraffines because of their low reactivity. Their general formula is CnH2n plus 2, where n is the number of carbon atoms found in the molecule. So if we put n is equal to 1, we get the general formula CH4, which is the general formula of the first member of this homologous series, that is methane. Similarly, if we put n is equal to 2, we get C2H6 which is ethane and so on. Now let's have a look at some of the general methods of preparation of alkanes. The first method is its preparation from monocarboxylic acids. When sodium or potassium salts of monocarboxylic acids are heated with soda lime, alkanes are obtained. In this method, as we can see that one carbon less than the parent compound is obtained. Therefore, we can use this reaction in descending the homologous series. Since sodium hydroxide is hygroscopic, it is not used alone. And therefore, calcium oxide is used along with sodium hydroxide to keep it dry and it also helps in easy fusion. The second method of preparation is by Colgate's electrolytic decarboxylation of salt of fatty acid. In this reaction, as we can see that alkane along with carbon dioxide, sodium hydroxide and hydrogen are produced. At cathode, sodium ions are not discharged as the reduction potential of water is more than that of sodium ions and so we obtain sodium hydroxide instead of sodium matter. It should be noted that methane cannot be obtained by this method. Further, this method is not suitable for preparing unsymmetrical alkanes like propane. Because if we use a mixture of salts of acids, a mixture of hydrocarbons is obtained and it is difficult to separate. The alkane and carbon dioxide are liberated at anode, whereas hydrogen is liberated at cathode. The third method is by the reduction of alkyl halides in which alkane is obtained. For reducing agents, instead of zinc, copper and water, we can also use tin and hydrochloric acid or zinc and hydrochloric acid or hydrogen iodide and red phosphorus or hydrogen and palladium as the reducing agents. The order of reactivity of alkyl halides in this reaction is alkyl iodide, more than alkyl bromide, more than alkyl chloride, more than alkyl fluoride. This order can be explained on the basis of their bond strengths. Another method of preparation of alkanes is by reduction of haloalkanes with complex metal hydrides such as lithium aluminum hydride, sodium boron hydride or triphenyl tin hydride. Primary and secondary alkyl halides are readily reduced to alkanes by lithium aluminum hydride. Tertiary alkyl halides usually give alkenes. Sodium boron hydride reduces secondary and tertiary alkyl halides but not primary halides. Whereas triphenyl tin hydride reduces all the three types of halides. The next method is reduction of haloalkanes with hydrogen iodide and red phosphorus. Alkyl iodides are reduced to alkanes with concentrated hydroiodic acid in the presence of a small amount of red phosphorus at 
425 degree Kelvin temperature. Next method of preparation of alkenes is Wurtz reaction. When alkyl halides react with sodium in the presence of dry ether, higher alkenes are formed. For example, if we start with ethyl bromide, then the two ethyl radicals will combine to form butane. Tertiary alkyl halides cannot be converted to alkenes by this method because they are converted into alkenes due to elimination. When different alkyl halides are used as a starting material, a mixture of alkenes is produced which cannot be easily separated. Two possible mechanisms have been proposed for Wood's reaction. The first is the ionic mechanism. In this mechanism, first an organosodium compound is formed by the reaction of alkyl halide and sodium, which then reacts with the second molecule of alkyl halide to give alkenes. The second proposed mechanism is the free radical mechanism in which a molecule of alkyl halide reacts with sodium to give a molecule of sodium halide and an alkyl free radical. The free radicals thus formed combine together to form alkenes. As we can see that methane cannot be obtained from this method. On heating with red phosphorus and hydrogen iodide at 425 degree Kelvin temperature and under pressure, alcohols, aldehydes, ketones and acids can also be converted into alkenes. Iodine and water are produced as byproducts in this method.